This is the Jerry Show, and this is Flysight's Black Pearl 5.8 GHz FPV Diversity Monitor. And right now I have it hooked up directly to my GH4, and I have it hooked up through the HDMI cable, which is one feature I was really looking for when I was looking for a FPV monitor. I use this a majority of the time with my uh, DJI Phantom and use it as an FPV monitor, but also it was a plus to know that I could shoot in 4K on my GH4 and still be able to use this as an external monitor. And as you can see here, I'm just kind of going over the box. I can shoot this a little bit. But say if I even wanted to record, you can see I can record, and I'm recording in 4K, which is pretty nice. And I can also go back and view them. Or I could also look at previous pictures, some cool pictures that I did with the uh, DJI Phantom and some long exposures. But I just want to point that out that it does work with the GH4 and you can use this as an external monitor. And it's great because it has a built-in battery. And this is actually a removable battery too. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this and let's just uh, look here at the monitor for a little bit. This has a built-in battery, removable battery. So if the battery did happen to go bad, guess what? You can replace it. So that is a nice feature there. Now this also, let me get this clip back in there, has built-in speakers. So if you need to hear audio, you could hear that. You could actually have, if you're running this FPV through the GoPro, it will transfer the audio and you can hear the squealing or the noise if you really want to hear that. So it's a seven inch screen. You can see down here at the bottom, we have the buttons that go across. This is the power. And then we have some up and down controls on the bottom. We have a built in quarter inch. So we can attach this to a tripod on the side. We have this HDMI in, and then we have an audio video in the diversity AV out. And then we have the RX AV out and RX AV out. This is the one and two and then the diversity. So this has two antennas. So basically if you wanted to record externally, you would hook up RV1 or excuse me, RX1, RX2 and diversity will record from both. So whatever signal is stronger, it will record from, from that, which is a nice feature. Over here on the other side, we do have, it's labeled DC out, DC in. We can power the screen using a battery, an external battery. I use, I use this uh, pretty big battery. Let me grab it real quick. Okay, I actually use this big guy right here, and I just hook it up to this, and this will just work as an external battery power source, and that's like 12,000 milliamps, I believe. It also jump starts cards. It's a really nice charger there. But anyway, you can also power it by, they have an included cord. I'll show you here in just one second. But then they have a DC out. This is good if you wanted to maybe power a DVR to record your flight or the flight from the screen. This does have, you know, it will display the, the you know, the height and the distance of the quadcopter. But real quick, let's go ahead and open this up. I want to show you what else it does come with. We have, this is the cord. If you wanted to run it off a three cell battery, that's what they suggest. And then you can connect it right there, plug that into the side. Other than that though, we have two of these pole antennas, which, I mean, if you're gonna fly in close range, these are gonna be fine. If not, I'd get some circular antennas. Oh, this must be, I have another one here. Got in the box somehow. Then we have these audio video you can see they're the female ends, so you could connect it here or wherever. Then hook up your DVR, your external monitor, um, or FPV glasses, whatever. And they give you two of those, which is nice. So that's basically that. Now, I did want to go ahead and take this outside. Uh, one other thing about this, they do include a sunshade. Let me go ahead and grab the sunshade. So this is the sunshade that is included and that's this is probably the biggest downfall of this monitor because 
it really just is a uh, I mean I've had a lot of other monitors this thing is I think it's broken somewhat yep you can see there the piece broke actually and I mean they do buy monitors uh, or monitor covers and things like that but it'd just be nice I like those kind that you just kind of open up and it flops open it's just so easy and just so convenient but if not you'll just have to kind of make shift with the cheap plastic one they include so real quick I do want to turn this on and just kind of give you a quick tour of the settings to turn it on you just hold down on the left power button and it will go straight to the I believe it's diversity mode and you can see the band the channel this is have 32 channels and basically to go in the settings we would hit that power button again oh yep there we go and now we can go through you can see like the uh the sound then we have function and we can go to language osd settings you can make this so you can make those brighter or uh, transparent oh, let me go back into here i must have auto exit menu or something okay let me go back here oops all right, then we have the function, and let's go. We have English, OSD setting, display ratio. I have it 16 by 9. You can put that on auto. We have reset, power, or excuse me, auto power off. And then we can flip this all different ways. So if you're going to mount this upside down or possibly on a cr crane or something, that'd be kind of neat. And let's go to the last setting here. We have diversity band F. Then we have the different bands it's on e i think it runs off of bands a b e and f so that's just good to know there now the next button over is the mode this will switch through the see i'm going to mode rx2 i'm on this and then it will go into audio video in and also notice that battery indicator there and then we can go to hdmi input and that's what's probably just checking it right now and we'll go back to this is the diversity and one other good thing about this is it doesn't have a blue screen so if you're flying and this starts to lose reception then it won't go to blue screen you'll still be able to see the fuzzy uh, picture so that's just one plus on that so besides that that's about it I'm gonna go ahead and just take it out and show you some flying do keep in mind though that the antennas I'm using, I'm not using these, I'll be using some Clover or some circular antennas. They're about $12 and they they do a pretty good job, don't get me wrong, but don't base the quality of the monitor off the antennas I'm using. But you'll see when I'm in closer range that it's very clear. So that is the FlySight Black Plural 5.8 GHz FPV diversity monitor and thanks for watching. footage there.
Oh, yeah, that's just Jay flying his drone. In my apartment. Does that give you altitude readings and everything? Yeah. We're at 27 meters or 66 meters high. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Run time. That's tight. Hey guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to know more information about the build and the components I used for my DJI Phantom 2, I went ahead and put a video here. You can click on that and you can see the install process and also a list for where to get the parts at. So go ahead and check that video out and thanks for watching.